As most PDFs are read-only by default, they're the ideal choice for ensuring something is presented as formatted every time. If you have a dedicated PDF editor though, they can still be edited. While flattening everything into a single image can make it harder to edit, it won't stop someone from trying. If you're looking for a way to create or lock editing on your PDF file, this is the guide for you. If you just need to make a read-only copy of an editable PDF, a quick way is to open up your PDF on your browser, then click on the print icon. On the printing window that pops up, click on the drop-down menu next to destination and select save as PDF. Once that's done, click on print. You'll be prompted to give your file a name and choose where it saves to. Other things on the document can still be moved and edited if you use a dedicated PDF editor. If you've created your PDF from another document, you can choose to encrypt it with a password to lock editing on most PDF editors. When exporting your document to PDF, just click on the security tab on the window that pops up and set a password under editing permissions to do so. The exact steps will vary slightly depending on the program you're exporting from. If your document is already a non-fillable PDF file, you have a couple choices. You can either use a dedicated PDF editor, or if you don't have one, you can turn to Sedja's free service. Just click on the link in the description below to get started. Find and upload your file, then click on more options next to encrypt PDF. A few more options will present themselves. Put in a password under require a password to change permissions, decide what you want to allow, then click encrypt PDF once you're finished. The app will then process your file and present a download link once it's done. Depending on the software used for opening the PDF file, these permissions may or may not be enforced. As a free service, this app will only let you edit a certain number of documents per hour. While this is not a problem if you only need to do this once or twice, you might want to pay for a subscription if you need to do this regularly for multiple files. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering PDFs and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.